We're on location. Parked here. Just checking out the conditions. It's a northwesterly swell and it's a northerly wind. So, what we want to do is make sure we go on the ledge where it's facing south and that'll avoid the, um, the big swells. I'll actually see the ledge, I'll show you the ledge later. So I was explaining earlier about um, the northwesterly swell. Um, so what that means is the swell is coming from northwest and it's heading into, and it hits the ledge. If the ledge is facing north, it'll get the brunt of that swell. So what you want to look for is a ledge that faces south, so it doesn't get that swell. And that's what me and Anwar is, uh, is looking to fish today. So if you look down now, at the ledge at the bottom there, it looks calm, right? That's because the swell is coming from a different direction. And the wind is a northerly wind, so it's, the wind is coming from the north. Which means it's also it's going to make a, it's going to impact that, that side of the ledge the north facing ledge um, so that's a bit of tip for you guys when it comes to a bit of safety uh, especially if the swells are above 1.3 you know, or 1.4 anything more than that I don't know but yeah there you go so back on the topic of swells and wind I'll show you, I'll show you exactly what I mean we're on, we're on actual ledge now but if you see on that side there, north facing or um, west facing, uh, there's, there's swirl there and it gets, actually gets worse around the other side. But if you look on this side, nice and calm. So if you're rock fishing, you want to you get somewhere that's quite calm. Unless you want to do some hardcore rock fishing like those morning tide boys. But yeah, that's how I choose my ledge. Hope that helps. I just want to make a point. Um, I get a lot of questions and comments about location and where the location is. It's not that I want to share the location. I'm, I'm happy to do that. But it's just not what fishermen do, right? Uh, in the streets, it's called the G-code or fisherman code. You know, if you tell if you tell locations and you let locations, it's it's almost like snitching, and you don't want to do that, right? It's not really something that's popular amongst fishermen. Uh, what I do recommend is watch one of my videos. I, one of the first videos I did about where to start. Um, you can get books and you can find all these locations, guys. Heaps of the locations are quite popular locations, but it's not something I'm willing to put out there on social media. Um, if you want to, uh, you know, uh, message me directly, maybe you can. But even then, I don't think it's the right thing to do. Part of the fun is looking for the locations. It, it took us ages to find these locations, how to get there, how to fish it. I can share with you guys how to fish it and how to set up. But in terms of locations, guys, you know, you got to do your research and do that on your own. I hope there's no hard feelings. <laughs>